and good morning, Hawks. I'm Zahara, and today we're bringing you another episode of HBTV. And I'm Sonia, but before we begin, please rise and remove all hats for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. What makes music on your head? A headband! I've always wished I could play guitar like Taylor Swift does. Have you tried going to Griffin Strings? Maybe you'll find out that you have a passion for guitar. Here's a feature by Shiloh about a guitar shop located in Palo Alto. <laughs> Griffin is a music store in Palo Alto focused primarily on acoustic guitars, but also sells banjos, mandolins, dobros, and much more. Two months ago, Griffin celebrated 50 years being in the Bay Area. This is co-founder Frank Ford talking about what Griffin is and what music means to him. A lot of folks think we're a, an acoustic guitar shop, uh, and I don't quite see us that way. Uh, we obviously sell acoustic guitars, but uh, we started out actually building instruments and doing repairs and service on them. And so over the years, we've grown very slowly. It's taken us 50 years to get to this size. And we've been doing it all this time, uh, mostly concentrating on the service we do, repairs, restoration, and that kind of thing. And so I see us as uh, Griffin as a service business that happens to sell guitars as well. So we want to be as much a part of the community as we can. I'm part of the baby boom generation, you know, and so I was a, I was a college student in the early 60s. And uh, about that time, the bluegrass music, uh, popularized by Bill Monroe and Flatt and Scruggs and those guys, you know, started circulating in places other than the Deep South. And I was one of the people in California that was bitten by that virus. Uh, so of all the kinds of music, my personal favorite is, is the bluegrass and uh, American country music that actually ori originates uh, in the Southeast US. Uh, but I'm really fond of uh, the Celtic music that's real popular up in the Northeast and Northwest as well. For 50 years, Griffin has been a place where people of all ages can have a good place not only to get their instrument fixed, but also get a happy smile and good service. Signing off for HBTV, I'm Shiloh Robinson. Thanks Shiloh for that amusing feature. What's poppin' my lip fam? Oh my gosh, that was so cringe. Mubby. Here's a hawk squad on some things us hawks wish we could make trendy. Roll it, squad! <laughs> Having greasy hair. Eating fried chicken for lunch. Raisin, Raisin bread! bread. <laughs> if I could make anything trendy, it would be Kermit the Frog. Ditto. If I could make anything trendy for a day, I would make it Pop Tarts. Um, Roblox. Roblox. <laughs> if I could make anything trendy for a day, I'd probably make like trash cans. I would make magic trendy since I love magic. Fuzzy socks with bands and trends. I'd choose magic cards. I'd make Liberty Kids trendy for a day. <laughs> Gabby Foster. Jacob's hair. Ooh, bunny ears. Dog's trendy because they're super cute. Joe. Joe. Uh, fidget spinners. A fake snow leopard purse. Definitely geometry dash. Um, I would make Riverdale trendy because it's an amazing TV show. I would choose myself. I wish it were trendy to be bald because then people would like me more. Well, um, since like TikTok's like trendy. Sock puppets. <laughs> but like sock puppets. Instagram's more trendy. I would make TikTok sock puppet. TikTok more trendy than Instagram for like a sock, sock puppet. <laughs> sock puppets because like, you know. <laughs> sock puppets. 
Thanks, Zahara and Gia, for that hilarious hawk's walk. Where is that beautiful music coming from? I think that sounds like the amazing Hillview Orchestra. I wish I could play like that. Here's a feature on the Hillview Orchestra by Elon. Most people view music as a thing they will never do. But what they don't realize is how everyone can and should learn music. Mr. Vaughn thinks that music should be a crucial part of everyone's education. Music is an international language. It's one of the things that makes us um, think about our humanity and, and makes us realize you know, the beauty of the world through music. Music is something that's around us all the time. I firmly and strongly believe that music is, can be at the core of, of everyone's education. So the beginning classes at Hillview are designed for students who either are really true beginners, have never played before, or people who are interested in switching from one instrument to the other, or someone who dropped, say, stopped playing in fourth grade, but is interested again in sixth or seventh or eighth grade and want to take it back up. And so we meet once a week before school at 7.35, and on Tuesdays, we meet with all the string instruments, and on Thursdays, it's anyone who's in the band instruments and wants to play. According to a beginner student, it is really easy to learn in Mr. Vaughn's class. Because of the way Mr. Vaughn teaches, um, it's really easy to catch on and get good at music. And what we'll do is we'll go through a selection of different songs, and we'll play like the easiest ones first, and as your ability improves, the songs progressively get harder, and if you do well, you could potentially join the orchestra. The orchestra is a place where people who perform together can make friendships. I'm in the school orchestra because I found that when you're with other people doing the same thing as you, it helped you to make friendships and explore music in general. At first, it was something that my parents forced onto me as part of my education, but later on I noticed that music is an exploration and being with people that pretty much do the same thing as you helps you explore and make friendships. The orchestra has a special treat for its participants at the end of the year. We go and we spend three days in Disneyland uh, we do a performance, we do a, a, a workshop, a behind-the-scenes workshop, and then we just also get to enjoy the rides and, and experience what all that Disney has to offer. And the best part is that all it takes to get into this thriving music community is to talk to Mr. Vaughn and practice a little bit every day. Signing off for HVTV, I'm A. Long on the Hillview Orchestra. Well, that's all for today, Hawks. We hope you enjoyed this episode of HVTV. Before we sign off, it's time for the joke of the day. What do you call a funny mountain? Hilarious! On behalf of everyone on the Hawk Talk News Team, make it a great day or not, the choice is always yours. Teachers and students, please stay tuned for some extremely special announcements.